Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit with Salvatore Manzi. Tell. <laughs> Salvatore, welcome. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's so nice to be here, and I love your area of expertise, working with people and their homes. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? Yes, I do feng shui. Uh, I'm a practitioner of feng shui, and what I do is I help people redesign their life by redesigning their homes. What a lot of people take for granted is that everything in their space is sending them unconscious reinforcements about what they believe about themselves. But so by making simple changes in your space, you can actually redirect you where your energy is going, where your motivation is going, and start creating the life that you wish to be in. So let's say that my home is a mess. Yes. <laughs> How is that reflective of my inner self? You know, there's probably a little bit of mess in everybody's home. And there's probably a little bit of mess in everybody's life. The question is, where is it located? How predominant is it? Is it the first thing that you see? When you walk into your house, you want the first thing that you see to inspire, uplift, and give you the energizing, refreshing feeling that you get when you come into a garden, or say. When you have clutter, you want to make sure it's contained, you want to keep it over into one space. You know, I give everybody permission to have one clutter zone, let it go there, because in our minds and in our lives, there is a place where we just have to have, you know, a little bit of soil to fertilize. So that we can compartmentalize a little bit of yes. that clutter part. How about other things that you usually find uh, in your work with clients? What are the other you know, one or two most common reasons for why people bring you in? Yeah, the most common reason people ask me in is either relationships, money, or career. We'll talk about relationships. You go into the bedroom and everything about the bedroom is saying something about your relationship. And what I commonly find is that people have a single one nightstand, one lamp, one photograph, one picture, or one such and such and such. This is reinforcing the idea. Of one, one, single. one. So the idea in Feng Shui is to have pairs. You have two nightstands, two lamps, two pillows, two pictures or a picture with two images. The more you reinforce the imagery of two, the more you're going to be putting yourself into that own um, male-female role, masculine-feminine, or whatever your relationship you're trying to create. Okay, so you mentioned love. Yes. How about <laughs> Next <laughs> is a uh, career, and the career is a, a lot to do with your entrance. The entrance of your home really affects how the energy is flowing into your life. So if the entrance is hard to see, hard to get to, if it's got um, trash bins that are um, waiting to go out, or it's got the mail that hasn't been um, looked at, all of these are weighing down the energy. It's also weighing down your own energy when you come home. So the thing, anything at your entrance should inspire you in terms of your career. What I recommend is what I call the um, entrance trinity. The past, the present, and the future. So that when you walk in, you see who you were, who you are, and who you want to be. So three objects, or even three pictures, that represent where you're going with your life. So that when you walk in, you're like, yes, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm going to become in my life. That's a great tip. How about the third part? The third part was finances. Finances, I always talk about the kitchen stove. Uh, the kitchen stove is a very important um, energy source in the family, It's how you uh, in the house. It's how you feed your family. So um, first tip is always keep it clean. You know, use, I, I tell this to a lot of people with roommates, if your roommate isn't cleaning, tell them this is affecting your rent. <laughs> you need to use, uh, you need to keep it clean. Secondly, use every burner. Because you basically have four avenues of income with those four burners. And if you're only using one, you're telling the universe, I'm only open to one source of income. Use every burner and you open up to four sources of income. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, tell us about your book. Well, my book is called Feng Shui Life Mapping. It is the first of its kind to combine feng shui and vision boarding. Basically, you make a vision board using feng shui, and then you have a blueprint that you can feng shui your entire house with. It's an introductory guide to how to start feng shui in your house and feng shui your life. And you can find more at fengshuilifemapping.com. Wonderful. Any other way of uh, people contacting you, or is that the main website? That is the main website. Um, I am available at Salvatore at Feng Shui Life Mapping as well. well wonderful, Salvatore. It, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>